This morning, we're setting sail with a very special Verizon network engineer and Purple Heart veteran. After serving in Afghanistan following 9-11, Gordon Cook shows us how tranquil waters can help heal the wounds of war. On September 11th, 2001, I was the network director in Atlanta. By September 8th of 2002, I was in Afghanistan for the first time. I guess I should take these two old stitches out. I'm Gordon Cook. I've been at Verizon for 25 years. I work in the network department. One day, we were on a reconnaissance mission. We came under, it was kind of a big ambush in this village complex. We came under RPG and mortar, machine gun fire and sniper fire. And uh, I took one through the wrist and then in the uh, femoral artery on my left leg and then uh, one dead center in the middle of my chest, which fortunately my body armor stopped. This is the plate that I was wearing when I got shot. It was I don't know, like right here. I was really bleeding severely. I was treating myself with a tourniquet, and it was um, probably the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life. You know, I've always been in and around boats. My dad used to take me fishing when I was a little kid, and then after I came back from Afghanistan, I kind of wanted a more peaceful thing to do, and I restored this sailboat and took lessons and learned to sail. In a lot of ways, it's similar to what I do at Verizon. Sailing is kind of like this engineering puzzle. You have the force of the wind on the sails, and you have the countervailing force of the water on the keel pushing the other way, and the water on the rudder pushing yet another way. And you know you have these lines which control the sail flow, and all of that kind of works together to propel you through the water. And it's just, I find it really fascinating and interesting. You know, I was uh, in the desert a lot, and in the mountains and desert, you don't, you don't get to see much blue water, and so I kind of wanted to be around the water more. So the boat was sort of a natural follow-on. For me, it's when you turn off the motor, and so all of a sudden it gets real quiet, and you know, theoretically, if you know how to sail, you can then go anywhere in the world. It's kind of cool. I spend probably 90% of my time working on the boat and 10% sailing because it's an old boat and stuff breaks. My wife came down to see me one time. I was covered with sweat. There's blood coming out of my knuckles and I was cursing and, you know, and she looked at me and she said, you know, you look really happy. <laughs> so, so, you know, it's very hands-on and uh, it's good, yeah.